I'm FTFE and I built this YouTube channel on one main principle. Calling flat earthers idiots and pointing out their stupidity to the world. Because it's true. Flat earthers are all fucking idiots. But I've been accused of being too mean to these dregs of humanity. And maybe YouTube thinks that as well. I know YouTube has issues with things like fighting, so I've decided to see if I can reset myself in the YouTube algorithm and in people's hearts by proving I do have some tolerance for the stupid things flat earthers say. I mean, maybe they're just misunderstood and not willfully ignorant and a blight on humanity. So here we are with the first episode and probably the only ever episode of the opposite of what I normally do. This is Hug the Flat Earth. Hug the flat So yeah, I'm not going to be angry or annoyed. I'm going to be chill and nice and understanding of the flat earth proponents. Maybe they aren't just con men looking for attention or knowingly spreading false information to vulnerable people. Let's have a look at some of the things that they have said. Let's start with Dell from Beyond the Imaginary Curve. Obviously just a misguided soul who means and wants nothing but the best for everyone. I'm sure is a lovely fellow. Let's see if we can have a look and I find a clip of him being nice. I'm talking to you fucking directly. So don't come in and fucking twist it. Okay, so... You're here fucking talking to me. You're fucking ignorant prick. Oh, Dell, can't we be nice to each other? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can just be nice whilst explaining your position. Let's have a look at you talking to someone in your live chat. Eratosthenes managed to measure the Earth's circumference, did he? That's right. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, he he really did, Dell. Maybe you just don't understand what it was he was doing. Eratosthenes measured the circumference of Earth over 2,500 years ago. He knew that in Syene at local noon, on the summer solstice, the sun was directly overhead. So he then measured the angle of the sun at local noon in Alexandria. Using the length of a rod and the length of the shadow as the legs of a triangle, he calculated the angle of the sun's rays. This turned out to be about 7 degrees, or 1 50th the circumference of a circle. Taking the Earth as spherical and knowing both the distance and direction of Syene, he concluded that the Earth's circumference was about 50 times that distance. Is it possible, Dell, that you just don't understand the details? Measure the Earth's circumference, the circumference of a sphere. How could he have measured the circumference of a sphere when it's not a fucking sphere? Silly. What do you mean it isn't? I mean, just, just saying it, it isn't, and he didn't measure the circumference because it isn't a sphere is fucking retard... Sorry. Be nice. You silly Billy. It was his measurements that helped us realise it was a sphere. Oh, God, this being nice is going to be harder than I thought. He discovered that at noon in the Egyptian city, the sun was directly over, for fuck's sake. But, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, when, it, when it's like three years and beyond and you're still getting this same utter crap, you know? Yes, Dale, I, I do know. I've only been doing this for about nine months and already I'm having to repeat the exact same extremely basic things to you idiot... Uh, I mean, to, to you dafties over and over... I'm sure you're just misunderstand. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I, I haven't explained it well enough. I I guess I'll just have to keep explaining it over and over. That's fine. I, I don't About mind. About shadows in the sky and the stars. The question, the question, what shape is the earth? See that stuff when you look down at your feet? That's what we're trying to measure. Wait, are shadows not on the ground and it was that shadow on the ground that gave Eratosthenes the leg of the triangle we used to calculate the angle of the sun rays. I mean he knew how big Egypt was from generations of surveying trips where they you know measured the the ground then using the fact that he knew the distance between Syene and Alexandria and the angle of the sun's rays being known as seven degrees in Syene thanks to measuring the shadow on the, the ground and as 7 degrees is 1 50th the circumference of a circle, he concluded the Earth's circumference was 50 times the distance between Alexandria and Syene. Right? So, you need to measure the stuff. This here, no up there. You don't live up there. I was not aware that I was involved in 
what the shape the sky was debate or question. Eh? It doesn't even come into it. Okay? I hope you understand that. You understand that it is a red herring. It's part of the sophistry that has been imposed upon you. And you are now adopting it, thinking you're a fucking smart ass. When really you're just a total fucking buffoon. Uh, right? I don't want to sound like I'm being mean. Honest. But isn't saying you won't take the measurements and movement of the sky to help determine the shape of the ground just a little bit dishonest? It means you get to just hand wave dismiss most of the evidence that is ever brought against your moronic, I mean, erroneous beliefs. But we do measure the Earth in many other ways. That's why when building the LIGO apparatus, they measured that in each of the four kilometer arms, more than a meter of curvature needed to be countered. They didn't look at the sky for that. Oh, and I do actually remember you being in a debate once. I just need to remind myself how that went. I oh, know. Let's try this thing's voice search. Um, search Delroy Debates. Okay, I need you. You're a speck it, Steve. Go ahead, Anger. Did you have something that you wanted to It's because I'm dealing with fucking incompetent knobs. That's why. I've no patience for fucking stupidity. And you're just a stupid fucking bunch of knobs. Comes from somebody that couldn't define pressure. Okay, okay. Because uh, you're, uh, uh, you're, you're a biased little fucking shit, Steve. Steve, yeah. you're no fucking yeah. funny or clever, son. Yeah. You're a fucking incompetent little pick squeeze. David, That's all you Oh, I never realised that you were such a nice person, Del. Me being nice to you should be... No problem at all? Some deceptive lying manipulative cock stain made up lies... And he made his lies sophisticated. Now you coming along thinking you're a fucking, ooh, I'm going to have some stature, I'm a fucking uppity uppity, think I'm fucking clever and smart. I'm going to listen to this smart sounding motherfucker on YouTube. Maybe Vsauce or one of these fucking guys. And then I'm going to parrot it and repeat it, thinking I'm a fucking intellectual and I'm really just a fucking retard. So, right, learning factual information and countering flat earth nonsense with said information makes you a, a, makes you a retard? No. All right, you've made me reach my limits of being nice already. I, I guess Dell is just really misguided and not an idiotic, rude, arrogant and extremely ignorant piece of shit then. Okay, let's move on to another person who is just confused about the shape of the earth. No, fight the flat earth. I won't debate you. If I ever see you, I will gladly catch a case bitch-slapping you across that ugly-ass face of yours. That's what I'll gladly do. How the fuck you like me now? <laughs> you have got to be fucking kidding me. This asshole? This anti-Semitic, racist, homophobic cut. I mean, oh. Daniel Pratt. He's got a, uh, a strong set of opinions, doesn't he? Shall we listen to him? I guess. Sorry about the uh, fun and games, but I mean, I'm really just trying to do what Jesus taught me. Oh, there's like a little icon here. It says, warning, dangerous levels of irony detected. I, I really don't know what that means. You're, you're a perfectly nice person, Daniel. Obviously, you just, you don't mean to sound so angry. I mean, I guess I can understand the frustration of being chained to a water heater by your family all the time, though. The truth is, it's very easily debunked. The trash that people like Simon Dan and Team Skeptic and Fight the Flatter, all these clowns put out. It's very easy to prove that they just deny reality, okay? Oh, you silly goose, you. If it was so easily debunked, why is no Flat Earther ever debunked anything? Even the fact the sun sets is a problem for the flat earth, Daniel, my friend. Ah! Fucking hell saying that hurt. I don't think I can keep this up. They constantly want to misrepresent when I say, put a drone on a flat disc, merry-go-round. A clay ground, merry-go-round. Put it on the outside. In other words, the equator. See, a helicopter taking off here on the equator is no different than a little drone sitting on the outside circumference, please learn what circumference means, 
of a merry-go-round. Wow, that is really stupid. I mean, wow, that's a lot of misunderstanding you've got there. If, if you wanted to simulate the drone on the equator, then it, it wouldn't go on the top of a spinning disc. It, it would go on the outside of the rim, meaning the drone would have to be hovering sideways. Do, do you know how drones work? Or, or gravity? Or the Earth's rotation? So, once again, people, it's plain as day. It would keep spinning, and the helicopter would just sit there. That's how reality works. Oh, come on, why have I got to explain something so basic as the fact that a helicopter uses the atmosphere, which is turning with the Earth to lift off of the ground to a full-grown man? I, I don't know. I, I can't be nice to Daniel Pratt. If he's going to say such fucking stupid things. Anyway, move on. But if I find anyone stupider, I mean, more misinformed, then I might struggle. So I, I can... I can deal with anyone. This is an egg. Nope, nope, not, 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 not sleeping warrior. Nope, nope, just, nope, I can't. Um, you want me to be nice to sleeping? Nope, clucking warrior is just too much to bear. I'm, <sighs> all right, anyway. A solar eclipse will happen every single month. No, I said that. I can't, not with Riley, all right? Look, I'll give it one more go, okay? That it's made out of, okay. say, something that came from Earth, which I suggest the giant's mind from what we now call the green. Oh, come on. Flat Earth fucking Aussie Jesus talking about the giant fucking digging moon out of the grand... <sighs> Obviously, Flat Earth Jesus is just going senile in his old age. And when you melt stuff into making glass, glass baubles, as it cools, you get bubbles coming across it. Now, if we had a moon with all these craters on it, most of these craters face the Earth, which means that they were made from asteroids that only just missed the Earth or meteorites and made an impact on the moon and made these perfect circles. But if it was a bubble or something glass as it pops and cools down fast, that is a far better and logical explanation for why the moon has all these craters in perfect round bubbles no, you love the old man. That's not true at all because if the meteors that are hitting the moon explode, they explode with such force it's like a bomb and that leaves a round crater as you'd expect. That's a really silly thing to, to say. Well, I actually think well, the sun is an interdimensional portal and it's diluting nope. the light. Not doing that. I can't. I understand okay, how it actually as well. They are the tool of the diviners where they summon in demons. Right, fuck this shit. I can't be nice to these idiots. Flat earthers are dumb as fuck. All of them. So from now on, thanks to your vote on my community tab, every Wednesday, I'll be bringing you a new episode of Flurfs Are Idiots and I won't be pulling the punches. And don't forget my patrons will be choosing the other topic of stupid that I cover every other weekend. Hug the flat earth? What the hell was I thinking? There's only one thing to do with the flat earth. We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. Yeah!